Hey guys, in today's episode, we are gonna install a core plug, also known as a freeze plug, into a Volkswagen MK1, guys. And we're gonna do it right inside of the car with the motor inside. So there was a block heater in there, as you can see, which broke out and fell out. So I would have to get one of these, they're like 50 bucks, or I can just put this puppy in. Okay, let me just show you uh, the first few very important steps, guys. So in the back here, as you can see, there it is, bear with me here. See, so there it is. So what you gotta do, guys, is you gotta clean this thing like you would not believe. It has to be completely spotless. Um, you also have to have good access to it to be able to get that in there. So I'm doing it from underneath, I got good access. Okay, so as you've seen, it's pretty dirty in there. So first I'm gonna use one of these wired brushes on an electric drill, and I'm gonna clean best I can all around. Then I'm gonna use a knife to scrape out any like rusted things in there. Then I'm gonna use some 320 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna sand inside that hole so it's nice and clean, bare metal. Then I'm gonna grab some Varsol and a clean rag and I'm gonna clean in that hole until that whole area is basically spotless clean and dry. So I might even dry it up with like a hair dryer or something. And I'm also gonna clean this thing, guys. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Like if you don't clean it good, guys, it will never not leak. So you just seen the before. Let me get this all ready. Should probably take me about 10, 15 minutes to clean it really good. And then I'll show you how to pop this in. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have very good access from underneath. So now I clean this thing up. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. Let me just get my camera in here. See, that's what that's gotta look like. It's gotta be nice and clean. I sanded it, I wiped it, I cleaned it, I degreased it. If it doesn't look like that, it's not gonna work, guys. Okay, so now let's uh, get ready of plugging this up. Okay, so now you can use this stuff, CRV, gasket maker, or good old Honda Bond, semi-drying gasket, right? And you're basically gonna put like a bead of it on here, put some on your finger, put it on the inside of that hole, right? And you're gonna use just a socket like this. It, it's gotta be a little bit smaller. See, it has to move like this. You can't use one that just fits in here. It has to have a little bit of space, right? You're gonna get that in there and you're gonna tap it with a hammer and push that right in with the Honda Bond on this and on the hole. So I'm gonna prep this up and I'll try to record this going in, guys. Okay, I got it on both. Let's put this thing in here. Okay, I'm gonna grab the hammer. There we go. Okay guys, the camera fell, but it's working. So you wanna get it in just a little bit deeper than the edge here. It's close, just a little bit more. It has to be in there. But not too far, you don't want it to fall in, right? And there we go, guys. So now, all you do is you grab your finger. And that is that.
Okay, guys, so there it is. That's what it should look like. Um, see, it's in there, but it's not too deep in. It's just the right amount, just like the original ones. See, they're in a bit too. So there it is, guys. So now, don't be impatient. Don't put any coolant in until tomorrow, guys. We're gonna let that fully dry without any uh, coolant inside the engine, guys. So I'm gonna fast forward till tomorrow in a minute because this is gonna be our first time starting this engine uh, in about five years, like where we can actually warm it up once the coolant's in. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow and we're gonna do a nice start. I'm fast forwarding till tomorrow. Okay guys, it is the next day. Um, I let that thing dry. It's perfectly dry. I filled up the car with antifreeze and I started it, and unfortunately, look what's going on inside the car. Right in here, guys, unfortunately, we got a leaky heater core, guys. A heater core is what makes heat inside the car when you're bombing around in the winter, for example. So see, it's leaking out of there. Dripping onto there, guys. So thanks for watching episode seven, guys, of a complete restoration of a Volkswagen. Um, I think in the next episode, we're gonna do the heater core. If we don't, then it will be happening in the next few episodes. I don't know for sure yet. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, everybody.